Hello guys, my name is Nico Ignatov and I'm the creator and one of the maintainers of the Elasticsearch Connector module for Drupal. Uh, in this video I will show you how, how to install the module for Drupal 8 using the 8.5 version of the module. For the purpose I already installed the Drupal 8 latest version. You can see here and I'm using a docker setup specially created for the, the development of the Elasticsearch Connector module. Um, just to show you the folder structure I have, I have the, the Drupal 8 downloaded here, I also have the Elasticsearch Connector module downloaded here. And actually we are ready to set up the module. Just closing the composer docker composer file and I will go to the module so the first step is always read the installation instructions <laughs> uh, and yeah we have some lines here showing you how to add the compose uh, the Elasticsearch connector module composer file to your dependencies so go now to the main composer JSON file and edit the merge plugin by adding this new line and on top we just need to update only the library we need in our case is the notepark desk connector library which is a wrapper over the the real elasticsearch uh, client and it's uh, the, the idea behind, behind this library is to be high level library uh, for abstraction between Drupal 8 and Drupal 7 we will see where we are going to go there but yeah this is the main idea so just copying this one and I will just run it now so this will install the, the library only the not park desk connector library which is required by the module can see it is downloading now great so the library has been installed now I can go to the module section in Drupal find the Elasticsearch connector and click install it will take uh, some time because uh, I'm not using the docker sync and the IO operations are currently a little bit slow on my machine but yeah, we have some time <laughs> maybe it was a good idea to for the recording to copy the files into the container itself so it, it was going to be very uh, much faster actually but yeah it's late now <laughs> yeah until we are waiting uh, the docker setup has the elasticsearch 5.1 server is, uh, installed so I have it up and running here locally. Super. So now I can go to the configure section of the module and set up my first cluster. Okay, I'll go to the cluster settings. Here I'll put the name. Okay, the URL is this one because it's a container, so the, the name of the container is Elasticsearch. I'll mark this as the default one, three seconds, and I will save it. If everything is okay, I should see the version of the Elasticsearch server and the status of the cluster. 
see this is the information I need to see and this is showing me that everything is working ok actually in the status section in Drupal you should be able to see if the client is installed or not and if there are any issues there until this is loading I will just load in a new tab the config page see the Elasticsearch client it's reported as ok now let's go to the configuration section of Drupal go to the search API and add uh, Elasticsearch server ok update server recently I received at least two issues uh, complaining that the, you cannot create a server so we'll just demonstrate how I'm doing this now so everything is ok, the server could be reached so I now can add an index let's read content crossing fingers that this will pass and I don't need to record this video again <laughs> so this is a dev version so it can be some uh, warnings and stuff we are working on fixing them uh, but yeah just to help you with the initial setup and start digging with the module so that was it you know, we have created the Elasticsearch cluster, set up the search API server, and after that, add an index that is using this server. So, this is a good starting point for you to start testing the module and help me with the issues. <laughs> Await your issues in my project page. So, thank you guys, and uh, hope that it will be helpful for you.